This is what happens when the sharks aren't the titular threat, instead they are the victims. Well, most of them. Regardless, sharks be wary of the... Jump on this shark week three. <laughs> Sheldon Wilson, director of Call, Carney, Scarecrow, and the recent and decent The Hollow, has done it again. Welcome to day six of my Shark Week 3 Beyond the Species, titled To the Action. Let us begin. The plot! Chase Walker, a catchy named, smooth-talking, lady charmer, has more than cheesy catchphrases to woo a woman's attention. He can kick some serious shark ass. Now, after a diamond has been eaten by a shark and greedy people be greedy, Walker must retrieve the gem from the belly of a massive great white. Shenanigans go down and a story ensues. One thing I didn't like about this movie was the fact that Chase is never really a badass when it comes to killing sharks. He kills like two sharks in the whole movie and they're both kind of lackluster action sequences. Another problem I had was the brightness when it came to underwater shots. It was sometimes so bright that I couldn't see much of the characters were seeing. However, this is a nicely shot movie with some great underwater scenes, minus the UV light-like quality in some shots. Were they expecting to kill vampires or something while watching this? I half expected to see on the news, vampires dying worldwide, and vampires be in their homes watching this movie all like... <laughs> Chase Walker is a fun character, maybe a bit too cheesy, but Derek Feller pulled it off. He is no James Franco, that's for sure, who is the shark hunter in The Shark Hunter. But he is fun regardless. Something I thought I'd dislike, but I ended up really enjoying is that the shark's not the main focus of the story. It is the diamond and those who are paying Chase Walker to get it. He's mine! No, I got him first! No, I did. <sighs> Every character was entertaining. Even Erica Sarah, who played Chase Walker's love interest, Jasmine, who isn't just a damsel in distress. No, that's an Aladdin. She kicks ass, too. Paul Dutolt, who played Jake, kind of annoyed me at first, but he did have some funny quirks, and I found the chemistry between him and Walker fun to watch. Arnold Volslow, who played Nix, played a villain who could have easily been put into a James Bond movie. He's a great actor, but it was noticeable the similarities between him and a cliché Bond villain. The CGI is eh. Some scenes look good with the sharks. Others, just no. The gore, there's some bloody fights, some bloody water, but that's just it. A lot of blood and one impalement doesn't make a gory shark flick. The musical score, it mostly consists of African music, which makes sense because this movie was shot and takes place in Africa. It's an enjoyable shark thriller. While it does have some problems, I didn't hate it. I do wish it was maybe just a bit sleazier, but I digress. Well, overall, I give Shark Killer a 3.5 out of 5. Lion Brain Gatto, host of horror show movie reviews. Make sure to like my Facebook page in the description below and leave comments and subscribe.